Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be installing lights on a 2018 JL Rubicon. This is my personal Jeep. And uh, I found these online. I thought uh, they would be pretty cool to put over the cowl instead of just the standard cowl covers. Um, picked these up on Amazon. I'll put the link below in the description. I also picked up these Nylites. So far they look really good. Uh, aluminum housing, six LEDs. I think they were only like 20 bucks and I uh, can't really beat that. In addition, um, just to save myself some aggravation, I also picked up a uh, Nylite wiring harness. We'll end up cutting off this toggle switch and use the uh, upfitter switches that are built into the Rubicon instead of having to drill another hole in the dash and filter, run these wires all the way through the uh, firewall. The uh, cow covers come with a set of screws. And um, today for the wiring splicing, I'm going to be using these um, solder seal wire kits. Never used these before. Hopefully they'll work. In theory, they're shrink wrap and soldering all in one. I don't know if you guys can see the solder right in the middle there. Hopefully they'll work. When I put on the fenders, um, I use T-clamps T and uh, it ended up getting a short and drain the battery. Um, I looked for it. The two dealerships looked for it. Neither one of them could find it. And um, it was odd because it was working fine for uh, probably three months and then all of a sudden the, the fender turn signals and uh, daytime running lights shorted out. So uh, I ended up ripping the whole thing off and um, soldering everything together. So due to that aggravation from now on, I solder everything, it, heat shrink it, and um, haven't had an issue since. All right, so let me play musical chairs with the vehicles and uh, pull the ruby on up at least part way into the garage. Um, here in Florida, it's about 95 degrees today and about 120% humidity. All right, thanks. off it's actually really simple all you need is uh, in your Jeep little toolkit comes with every Jeep you just need the wrench and the small uh, tool that's in there
lost one of the washers in the Never Never Land somewhere. Always have a canister of various washers at your disposal. Alright guys, we're back. Um, after looking into uh, redoing the wiring harness that I purchased to do this job, I think it's total overkill. I am actually just going to use some uh, standard, what is this, uh, 12 volt, 18 gauge wire. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feed it I'm going to feed it up through here, it'll come out right here, I'll splice into this, then I'll run it across the top of the firewall over to the other side, splice it into the other side. Um, there's already a ground mount over here on this side, right here, several of them, and then um, I looked up in the uh, auxiliary upfitter switch number four is the blue with the pink inside. I already have that separated out. Here's the other three for future use. So uh, the positive will be tapped into here, the negative will be tapped into there, and uh, we'll be good to go. And if you ever have the chance, get a 10 car garage. These two car garages just don't work. see both sides are up to the red lines. Now they say all we got to do is take the heat gun and shrink it up.
Well, I don't think that that's going to work. I will say experimenting like this always creates more work for yourself. So if you don't like it, don't do the experiment. If you don't experiment, you'll never find new ways to do stuff and you'll never get better at doing it because I really, really suck at wiring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our roll. Where's the roll? Take our roll right here, run it across over here to about where we need it right here, and then we'll wire up the other side and we'll cut it and we'll splice them all together in that general area. Alright guys, um, gonna wrap it up here. Just a few more things tighten down, zip tie the, that wire into the firewall. Everybody knows how to do that. Uh, I'm not going to add more time to the video. So this is my second video where I've spoken on camera and it wasn't just uh, footage of different events or off-roading. So um, do me a favor, check out the previous one where I installed the, uh, the shade cover in my wife's Jeep this one give me pointers let me know if you found this useful or informative or even comical um, you know what's that dumbass doing making YouTube videos let me know about it in the comments like and subscribe got a lot more projects coming including uh, ham radio GMRS radio some uh, Molly tracks uh, those are the big ones right now. Oh, I'm, I'm going to put in a uh, power bank in the glove box and uh, wire it up behind the dash so uh, I can walk, I can power all everything off my vector off road bar without having all the wires hanging off the, in front of the dash and the radio. All right, guys, uh, thanks for your time. See you soon.